Hello everybody, welcome to Need for Gaming. Today I'm bringing you an exciting video. Uh, this is going to be a really cool video today, and it's going to be just a little bit different than uh, normal. Uh, I'm going to be giving a little bit background on this game today that I'm going to be playing uh, that you see here. Uh, the game is called Bomberman. Uh, now this is really exciting. Uh, <laughs> one of my favorite games growing up as a child, man. Uh, so, I'm going to be doing a uh, voiceover here, just to let you know, I'm going to be uh, voicing over this uh, game that I played a little earlier today in the game, but uh, this is one of my favorite games of all times. I could probably say that it's among my top three favorite games. Uh, I have uh, played it as long as I can remember. Uh, a little history about Bomberman. Uh, in 1980, Bomberman was written uh, written to serve as a tech demo for Hudson Soft uh, Basic uh, Compiler. It was released in 1985 on, on the Nintendo Entertainment System uh, platforms, and then Later on, it was ported uh, to various uh, uh, supports. Um, it was known as the uh, the first true uh, games in the Bomberman series. Uh, the game mechanics are still uh, used in the series to this day, uh, but they have changed quite a bit. Uh, some of the other uh, game mechanics, uh, though, have been changed anyways, and uh, well, they've changed drastically actually over time uh, as to what they are now today. Uh, one thing that is really fascinates me about Bomberman is the story that's behind it. And so, let me just tell you a little bit about uh, Bomberman uh, here and uh, the the story behind uh, Bomberman and how it came about. Uh, so, Bomberman features a robot character. Now, let me just stop that right there real fast because this is what I find very interesting. Um, I did a, uh, a question here to a lot of people that are uh, familiar with Bomberman and have played uh, Bomberman. I've asked about maybe 20 or so people. Uh, this question. I asked them, was Bomberman a human or was he a robot? About the majority of everybody said that they thought he was a, a human, a man. And that's why I've always thought, uh, hence the name Bomber Man. I always thought that it was a, a man that was, uh, you know, like a. <laughs> don't laugh at me. I thought it was a man, like in a bomb suit, uh, that was uh, laying down bombs and uh, trying to uh, kill these uh, bad guys and things like that. But, no. Uh, the Bomber Man is an actually. He's a robot, okay? And that little pink thing on top of his head, that ball thing or whatever, is an antenna. Uh, it's, you know, for a communication kind of thing with the. Uh, whoever. Alright, so that was one thing that I have not known this whole, my whole entire life. This all this time I was playing Bomberman. I've never known that he was a robot, believe it or not. Uh, so I found that very interesting. And there's a little bit more of a story and background to the name Bomber Man, uh, the title. Uh, you know, and I want to kind of go over that just uh, briefly real fast. Uh, so Bomberman, uh, so he, he's a robot, and I guess, uh, you know, it's his job to uh, produce bombs, all right? And uh, they get thrown into, you know, this, this bunker, this underground compound, I guess they call it. Uh, and uh, I guess it's his job to get eliminate uh, all these uh, evil, I don't know what to call them, evil forces, these uh, demons, these bad guys <laughs> in this underground compound. Uh, but according to rumor, uh, any robot that could escape the underground compound and make it to the surface can become a human, which I find really interesting and very cool. Uh, I've never been able to fully complete the whole entire game, ever, my whole, whole entire life. I've never been able to successfully complete the entire game. I've usually always played uh, multiplayer with my uh, friends and things like that. I've never really put much thought or time or whatever or effort even into uh, playing the story mode or anything. But uh, I guess if you do play the story mode and you go, uh, you're able to work your way through this maze, I guess that's pretty much what it is in this underground compound. It's like a maze uh, full of blocks and things like that. Uh, you work your way through this maze, destroying these enemies and things like that, and you'll eventually find a door, and that door leads to another maze, and that, you know, there's another door in that room that leads to another maze, and another maze, and so on and so forth. And eventually, you can make your way to the uh, up above, you know, to the surface, and where you will become a human. That's actually been uh, confirmed that uh, once you make it to the, you know, to the surface, you do become a human. Now, here's the interesting thing about that, all right, and this is pretty cool. Yeah, because this is also another favorite game of mine, uh, what I'm about to say or mention here. So, um, 
The Japanese version openly, openly uh, presents itself as a prequel to Load Runner. So, how many of those out there have played Load Runner? I know myself, I have played Load Runner. Load Runner is a really fantastic game, and I would really like to do another uh, video uh, of, or not another, but I would like to do a video of Load Runner. That game, that game is one of my favorites. I, I used to play that all the time on the Game Boy. I remember playing that on hours on end, man, that, oh, I love that game. I really can't uh, wait to do a video on that game. Uh, that is another one of my favorites. But anyways, uh, getting back to what I was talking about, kind of got sidetracked there. Uh, the Japanese version uh, openly presents itself as a prequel to the Load Runner, basically saying that uh, the robot will become the runner in Load Runner. Isn't that awesome? I, I found that really cool, man. It's so, basically, you know, it... Uh, Kind of, in a sense, uh, follows that storyline. You know, Bomberman uh, is a robot, starts out as a robot, and makes it to the uh, surface, becomes a human. But he's been given the job to be a runner and to uh, collect gold and whatnot. And I'll be, I can't wait to do some, you know, research and uh, reading up on the history of uh, Load Runner as well to see if it uh, does indeed kind of follow the same storyline of Bomberman. That'd be really interesting. So basically, as far as the as far as the gameplay of Bomberman, the Bomberman must work his way through uh, the maze, I guess, or this maze of the levels, uh, destroying uh, soft locks and and uh, also destroying enemies with his bombs. Um, hidden inside of every single stage is uh, at least one item, from what I understand, that will either increase the the blast radius or uh, distance, uh, it will either increase the speed, or the item will also uh, give him uh, more number of bombs. That he can lay down at one time kind of thing so uh, as far as I know like I said there's only at least one item that you could pick up and from what you just saw just a second ago uh, there's also a hidden door the player must find the goal that is uh, hidden underneath one of the blocks and he has a you know destroy that block and uh, reveal the door at the so he goes to that door and that's about uh, you know he that door takes him into another maze another maze another maze uh, yeah so uh, basically each, yeah, each maze is like its own level. Um, so if the player's bomb touches the, you know, the goal after it's exposed, it will create uh, more enemies, uh, uh, by the way. Um, there are about 50 levels in total, I believe. I'm not entirely sure, but I believe there's about 50 levels. And so that's pretty much the gameplay uh, to the Bomberman. Uh, is like I said, you just uh, go through the game, you destroy blocks, uh, you can pick up some items, and uh, you can destroy some enemies. And uh, once you find the door, you can just go through the door and you move on to the next level. Um, I, I, you know, one thing I question, and I'm not 100% sure on, is the uh, the items that you pick up if they get if they carry over to the next level or not i want to say that they do carry over to the next level as you see here i'm on i don't know what level i'm on right now but um in this level i have you know, it looks like the blast radius of the bombs are, is actually pretty far uh because if you were watching i picked up uh that uh, item that increased the blast radius on my bombs uh in a previous level okay now, I don't think it's uh, shown me yet in the level, but uh, in one of these levels I pick up, uh, I guess, it's like a remote detonator. Uh, it allows me to drop a bomb and get to a safe distance or whatever, and I can blow it up on command, you know, kind of thing. I can blow it up whenever I want by pushing uh, D, I think it is, on the control pad, and uh, that'll detonate the bomb. And then I move over to, the, or I move on to the next level, and I don't have that detonation anymore. So. I question whether or not you could carry over these, you know, these these items onto into the next level or not. I, I mean, I want to say they do carry over, but then again, I, my uh, bomb detonator didn't carry over to the next level. So I'm still becoming a little bit more familiar with the uh, Bomberman on the Nintendo Entertainment System. I've never played it before until now. This is the first time I played uh, Bomberman on the Nintendo S Entertainment System. Uh, I've been playing the Bomberman series pretty much throughout my whole entire childhood, but I have not played this particular particular one. Like I said, I have mostly always played uh, Bomberman multiplayer with uh, my brothers and uh, friends and things like that. Um, and, uh, well, that's uh, you know, about it for the uh, for the game. I mean, I really had a fun time uh, playing this game. 
that uh, I thought was really exciting. Uh, one thing I wanted to throw out there really fast that I read up on, on Bomberman is that I guess there's a, a Japanese version of, of the game that they uh, came out with. It's actually 3D Bomberman, believe it or not. And that is pretty cool. I thought that was awesome. So there's like a 3D uh, version of uh, Bomberman. It's uh, kind of uh, like a first person uh, point of view uh, game. I thought that was really awesome. Uh, I want to see if I could get my hands on that game and uh, do a video on that sometime in the future. I think that would be a pretty fun thing to, uh, to record and to play. Uh, try it out because it looks interesting. I, I saw it on YouTube. There's a couple of YouTube videos out there that uh, you know show people playing that uh, 3D version of the game. But uh, other than that, I haven't had a chance or opportunity to play it myself. So here I am going into a new level here, it looks like. And, you know, that's... Uh, damn, this is a really fun game. Uh, for those that uh, have not ever played Bomberman, I highly suggest that you uh, give it a shot. It's definitely changed over the time. A lot of changes, uh, as I mentioned earlier today. Uh, it, uh, the characters, uh, you know, have changed uh, quite a bit. And I, I'm not entirely sure if, uh, you know, the, the story mode has uh, changed at all. You know, in terms of, you know, completing all the levels and getting to the surface to become a human. Um, I don't know if that uh, continues on in every single Bomberman. I'll have to do some more research and history uh, kind of thing on that to find out if it does or not. I'm not sure. Uh, but here, you see Bomberman as a character, and then, you know, it definitely transforms a lot in graphics and uh, music and enemies and that kind of thing. It gets a lot of uh, really fun. I'll have to definitely try out some of the story modes uh, one of these days and give that a try. Even more lives do I have left, man. Dying. Doesn't really seem like it's that hard, but boy. Playing Bomberman for quite a while, and uh, <laughs> gotta say, this is uh, a little more challenging than I thought it was gonna be. It seems like every time I lay down a bomb, these guys always end up going to a different direction or a different route. Sometimes they even go towards me. So you like that one? I just lay down the bomb, that guy's like, oh, nope, I'm out of here. One of my favorite Bombermans of all time, I think it is Bomberman 3. Uh, that was probably one of my favorite Bombermans. I really enjoyed Bomberman 64, believe it or not. I really would like to do a video on that one, Bomberman 64. That is another one of my favorite Bombermans of all time. My brother and I keep telling ourselves that uh, we really wish that they had uh, released uh, the character Bomberman on uh, Smash Brothers. I think that would be really awesome. I don't know why they have not. Uh, I think he's a character that you could defeat from what I've read and heard. Uh, he's a somebody that you could defeat in like the story mode kind of a thing or whatever to uh, Bob, uh, sorry, of Smash Brothers. But uh, he is not a playable character as of now anyways, which is unfortunate. I really wish that they would do that. Well, it looks like that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video. I hope you guys found it entertaining and also uh, full of knowledge and everything about the Bomberman. If you'd like to see some more, then... Uh, Definitely uh, take a look at that. Uh, but meantime, hit that like button and subscribe, guys. And uh, I can't wait until uh, we do another video on another uh, fabulous uh, Nintendo Entertainment System. And once again, if you guys have a, a favorite game that you'd like me to play or try out or whatever, uh, leave it down in the comments below. And I'll be more than happy to uh, give that a go. See you guys next time.